right, people, I am back. I am back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I am back. So, we are changing things up, clearly, because, hello, today is card review. Yes, card reviews have now been moved from Tuesday and Thursday to now Monday and Wednesday. DM to commentaries are on now on Tuesday. Live videos are on Thursday, fake card Friday. Still, of course, on Friday. I mean, what else day would it be, right? It's fake card Friday, right? Anyway, uh, I'm back. Card review is now on Mondays and Wednesdays. And also, the time has changed. The time has changed. Uh, it's not uploaded at 11 a.m. Pacific time. It's now 10 a.m. Pacific time. So, you get your uh, card review just a little bit early. Just an hour. There you go. An hour early. How's that sound, right? The only exchange is that Daily Duels is now an hour later. Because I would like... To I want to do like a two hour separation, you know, so you can go ahead and soak in all the content instead of just being like, here, here's a video, here's a video, here's a video, like right after each and another, you know, you can spread it out, you know. So, anyway, today is card review, and we are going to be looking at Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Yes, another another Hot Red Red Dragon Archfiend. Red, red, like, really? Really? <laughs> it's so many, but hey, you know. Uh, and Arc 5, you know, Jack is coming back and, you know, give a whole bunch of, you know, uh, Red Dragon Arc Fiend some more shit, you know? Wh who? Stardust who? Yeah, exactly. Stardust who? <laughs> anyway, it's all about Hot Red Dragon Arc Fiend or Red Dragon Arc Fiend. So this is Hot Red Dragon uh, Arc Fiend Abyss. Ooh, Abyss. So, it is a Dark Dragon Synchro, mon synchro Effect Monster. Level 9. Yes, level 9. With 3,200 attack and 2,500 defense. So 32, I mean, that's not bad. And 25 is the, uh, you know, the attack barrier. So, you know, if they book a moon you, they still got to have a 25 beater. You go ahead and attack over your booty. So, not bad. The materials are one tuner monster plus one dark dragon type non-tuner synchro monster. Ugh, so, it's a double sink. Yeah. Ugh, ugh. All right. So, uh, let's determine, is it worth a double sink? So... Uh, let's just go over the material. So you need one tuner plus one dark dragon type non-tuner synchro monster. So of course they probably want you to go ahead and use, you know, you know, red dragon atrine or scar right or whatever, you know, and then sink again into this. Uh, my only problem with it is that it's level nine. You know, generally when you sink into a monster, you want to use that same tuner. You got to use a different tuner, and you know, it's definitely kind of sucky. You know, like. For example, you know, Super Vice Bell. Yeah, I can go ahead and sink eight into, uh, into a Dark Dragon type non tuner synchro monster. Shit, I can go into Beals. I can go into Void Ogre. I can go into Hot Red. I can go into you know, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. Yeah, I can do that. But then I need one tuner plus that monster, and this monster is level nine. You know, if it was level ten, then yeah, you know. So unless they want me to go like. Level seven? I I I can go to level seven and use that same tuner, but I guess they want you to have you you know, you want to use that same monster. You wanna use that same number. So unless you're going sync eight using a level one tuner and then you reuse that level one tuner, you know. Like you have, you know, level non tuners on a field, you have level seven and you summon uh uh like Go up bulb, sink eight, and then go up bulb effects, and then go up bulb again, and then sink nine. This it's just odd. You know, I'd rather it be level ten, but it's level nine. So, is it worth the double sink? You know, let's let's, let's go ahead and determine that because you know I could go black rose and not use effect, and then summon tinker back and sink into this. But is it worth it? <laughs> anyway, let's look at its effect. So, during either player's turn, you could target one face-up card your opponent controls, negate that face-up card's effect until the end of this turn. So, it is supposed to be two uh, chain resolves backwards. So, yes, if your opponent activates a spell or trap, yes, you can go ahead and be like, all right, my effect, negate, and the card would just fizzle. So, if you have the sun in the field and your opponent goes, Regeki, and you go, chain, effect, I'm going to target Regeki, chain resolves backwards. So, uh, effecti, I almost said effectis. Oh my god, it's been a while. Regeki's <laughs> effect will be negated and it will just fizzle. So, and that's, this is during either player's turn, so, you know, it's kind of like a walking 3200 breakthrough skill that can work on any card, so that's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, it's not really busted. It's a really good effect, but it's not busted just because it doesn't uh, destroy, you know? It said once per turn during the player's turn, when a card, or, when a card is, is activated, you can negate the activation. When a card effect is activated, you can negate the activation and destroy it, and oh yeah, it'd be powerful, you know? It'd be just like... Um, 
you know, Infinity or uh, uh, Star Assault mode, and you know, then it'd be totally worth it. But this, this is just a good effect, you know. I wouldn't say it's busted, but you know, it's nice. And it also has a second effect. So, uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one Twitter monster in your graveyard and special summon it in defense position. That's not bad. It's not bad. Go ahead and just uh, summon that Tuna Monster again and hopefully use it for maybe an additional sync maybe next turn, maybe this turn if you have a normal summon, but, you know, uh, inflict the damage and go ahead and special summon the, the Tink, I mean, uh, well, yes, Tinker is a Tuna Monster. I keep on saying special summon the Tinker, but Tinker is not the only damn Tuna Monster, Daniel. Hello, uh, I'm rusty. I'm rusty, guys. I'm rusty. Special summon the Tuna Monster. In defense mode, of course, because, you know, they don't want you to go ahead and smack your opponent with the, the, the Tuna Monster as well. And, uh, you know, depending on what level the Tuna Monster is, I mean, I guess you can go ahead and sync this with the Tuna Monster. You know, if it's level 1, you can make a Leo, uh, but you probably want this still. <laughs> yeah. So, it's not terrible. You can only use each effect of Hyper Dragon, Archfiend, Abyss once per turn. So, there you go. So even if you have multiples, it's not like, even if you have multiples, it's not like you can go, all right, negate that, negate that, negate that, negate that. Like, no, you know, you can only use the effect of a best once per turn, only once that turn. So there you go. Each effect, each effect. So not terrible. Uh, overall, in my opinion, unless, unless you're using a synchro deck and an actual synchro deck that has different levels of tuners and stuff. I wouldn't recommend it, you know, I think some people are talking about maybe like, uh, like, there's a play where you use that Semsire, or that whatever, that dragon, the one that's like a monster reborn, that has like a 26 booty, and then, but it has a low attack, I can't remember its attack, it's either like 0 to 500, because I know, because it has less than 500 attack, you can summon with Debris Dragon, and then, you know, the Debris Dragon is the tuner monster, and then the dark dragon type non-tuner circle monster is that, uh, that one something dragon, I can't remember its name. And you can go ahead and sink right into this with just a bridge dragon in that. You can do that. So that's another way you can go ahead and do that. But like I said, unless you're running a deck with different levels of tuners and, you know, I wouldn't do it. You know, like I said, in my Ubel deck with Super Rice, I would not go, you know, I really can't even do it, but I wouldn't go, you know, I would have to run an additional tuner at level one. Yeah, because I had to go Doom Shaman summon. Uh, it'd be like Doom Shaman summon Tinker go into Beals or whatever Dark Tuner. Then it would be Doom Shaman summon a level 1 Tuner, which of course I do not run in my Ebel bag, and then sync that level 1 Tuner with Bills into this. And do I really want to do that? Depends. You know, if I have like a Call of the Hunted or Oasis or something, I could just summon the Beals right back since it was summoned properly, so it's not terrible. And of course, this card doesn't have to be summoned properly. I mean, summoned correctly. Like, it can only be special summoned by synchroing, so, you know, once you summon it properly, it dies, you can always call the hunted or oasis it, so it's not terrible. So, yeah, there you go. And then if you call the hunted or oasis it, and your opponent wants to MST it, your you MST your call the hunted or oasis to, uh, destroy this card, well, I guess you can always, you can negate the MST, but you can always just, you know, negate, you know, your oasis or call the hunted so you're not attached to it anymore, so you, you're... Uh, Dragon won't die. I don't know. I'm just making shit out now, but it's a good card. It's a good card. I uh, just like I said, unless you're running a deck that has multiple different level tuners, I wouldn't do it. So there we go. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card View. Like I said, Card View is now on Monday, and Wednesday at ten o'clock. All the you know the rotation series are at ten o'clock now. So uh, you guys get to enjoy your content just a little bit earlier in exchange for daily goals just being a little bit later. So. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. Thanks for uh, giving me that break. I'm glad to be back. And uh, we will look at another card to look at. Not on Thursday, but on Wednesday. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.